guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you a thrift haul so recently i was in la and i've seen a few videos online of the roseville flea market so i decided to look around and if you guys see a bag in the corner that's just clothes i'm giving away or donating but i decided to look around and i came across one like individual seller like you could tell that she just sold things from her home and then somebody who just had boxes and boxes of clothes which is what i usually see in the videos online and i picked up a couple items from there yes i do have a few denim items that you guys are going to see and those were kind of pricey for being out of flea market and being secondhand, but when you compare it to the in-store prices, like I'm gonna talk about one particular item, when you compare that to an in-store price, you're still saving. And it was practically brand new. So let me show you what I got. I figured the flea market would be somewhat pricey. So, and I was right, like there are a couple stands, like I'm gonna show you a pair Sorry, my eye is like really itchy. I'm gonna show you a pair of boots that I've, I've literally been on the lookout for boots like these forever. And I went to a different stand like after purchasing these just to compare and they were like $180, I think. And they were practically the same thing. And I got these from that individual seller for 20 bucks. of cowgirl boots for the longest time so these were 20 bucks I'm usually a size 7 and in boots I'll size up to a seven and a half these are size 8 but with the right chunky sock I can totally make it work I figured if the sock doesn't help I could always put an insole in it and I don't have a problem with that but they're like like I have a little bit of wiggle in my toe which I mean it isn't a bad thing I'm just kind of used to already sizing up to a seven and a half and having that little space. But I think mean, these will be completely fine. They're a little like scruffed up in the corner right there or in the tip of the toe. The tip of the foot. But for $20 compared to a pair that looks almost the exact same way. Of course they weren't scruffed up on the front. Like this, this little scruffing on the side, I don't mind because that's from usage. And they were second hand, like I'm not, I'm not complaining. They're a little worn on the bottom as well. But for $20, not bad at all. So a little worn, but they don't mind. Again, slightly scruffed. I just think it gives it more of that country feel with that little bit of scuffing. Did I see scruffed? A little bit of scuffing in the front. I'm sorry, this is I'm, I'm filming after my kids are gone to sleep. I've already showered. I'm solely dressed for you guys <laughs> like this. And you guys will probably see me in this outfit for the next few videos <laughs> because it's not every time or all the time that I get to film in bulk. So I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that. Again, kind of worn, but that just means that the boot is broken in which is great because i don't know if you guys know but these boots when you first get them and they're not broken in they kind of hurt the foot so yeah 20 bucks so i thought that was going to be my only purchase oh, i didn't even notice i noticed that this had some like brass here i guess some sort of metal in the front for the boot but I don't know if you guys can see there. I don't even know if it's focusing. I'll check it in a moment, but there's like a little design in it. So I came across a stand that I see all the time on YouTube. And actually now looking at the bag that they gave me this in, um, I can see that they have several locations, which makes sense on why they were so highly priced. Okay. So first I went for the t-shirts and at some point on our trip, I had gone to Venice 
Beach. Yes, I think I had gone to Venice Beach on Saturday night. And I was, I saw this Venice long sleeve shirt. And you guys will probably see that in one of my videos. It was a long sleeve Venice Beach shirt. And I don't know if you guys know, but today a lot of shirts come with like the print that you can kind of like scratch off. Or like if you dry it enough times, it'll start to peel. And I kind of like a shirt that has the image printed onto itself. Like it's part of the actual fabric. And I found one and it was, I think it was 27 bucks or something. And I really wanted it and it was like this cream color. And I wanted a, because it was for both men and women, I wanted a small so it would fit a little better. And they only had a medium. They did have a gray version in small, but the gray version did not just, it just didn't look the same as the beige or cream colored one. And I just really wanted that one. And they didn't have the small. I could have gone up a size in medium, but I I kind of already have like some oversized shirts. So I just wanted that one to fit nicely and I didn't get it. But we were close to Little Luna Beach. I was supposed to go back and stop by. So I picked up this tie-dye shirt. And of course, oversized. It is an extra large. And it just says Laguna Beach. Again, this pops out right here. But there's no holes there's no stains no the letters haven't faded away so i figured why not plus i was actually supposed to go to the beach and see the area i just didn't get the opportunity to but that gives me a reason to go back i don't know i think if i have a shirt that says a place i feel like i i should go there at least once or i should have visited already so I'll definitely be checking out Laguna Beach. I don't know how soon, but I will. Then let's see what I found next. Oh, I found these pair of, I think they're Cherokee. Yeah, Cherokee overalls and they're shorts. So I thought that was fun because I'm always like, like I mentioned before, I only have maybe two pairs of denim shorts so I thought this was cute because you could literally throw whatever underneath it and I showed my husband and he was like oh yeah I really like them I just don't like that part right there and I was like the flowers that's what I got it for I love floral and I mentioned this in a previous video I love floral and this is like not today's floral this is like old floral and then like, the string is popping out just a little bit here but I think that's so cool and with a big pocket right here I don't know it just takes me back. No holes. Nothing wrong with it. There is like the tiniest stain here. Oh, by the way, the t-shirt was five bucks. And tiniest stain here. I figured if it doesn't come out, I'm scratching my nose and touching the clothes. And it's like freaking me out. If it doesn't come on in the wash, what I'll do is I'll try to distress it. I think, you know, just cut a little bit and then fray it a little bit. I've seen enough of it done on YouTube to probably be able to do it myself. I'm hoping it comes out. <laughs> oh, my nose. You guys didn't come here to see me scratch my nose. So moving on, I think after that, I found this. I'm not sure if it was in the same area though. And it's this um, Divided uh, by H&M denim jacket. And I figured I have a really basic medium blue, I guess. It's darker than the overalls, but lighter than this. And it's very simple, just plain denim jacket. And then this one kind of has like that moto type of, you know what I'm talking about? like the biker jacket style, like right here. And then this kind of reminds me of like the leather jackets. So ugh, the fraying on the bottom, I don't know, I love that. And I thought it would just be a change just because I like my other divided one so much. Although, in my other one, I do have inside pockets, which I love, but 
not a big deal. <laughs> and I'm going to try to close it so you guys can see. Here's the back, and then the zipper is off to the side. So I thought it was so fun. I'm not the leather jacket type of girl that I know of. I haven't found the perfect leather jacket for me, so I really do like the denim ones, and I just think it's comfortable. I just, I don't know. But I thought this was so cool. I thought this was basically my leather jacket, but in denim. So if I find a leather jacket like this, who knows? Maybe I'll be getting one of those again. The overalls were $15. This jacket was $15. But the very basic um, denim jacket that I have from H&M, also divided, was $25 when I got it. So $15, that's like me saving $10, which is kind of cool. And I think this was my last find. I went back for a pair of black mom jeans. If you guys hear something, that's the AC again. I heard the bag move. <laughs> anyway, a pair of black mom jeans. I mentioned, I think, in one of my videos that I have my favorite pair of black mom jeans. They're from H&M. They are frayed at the bottom. And... I absolutely love them. I think they have four or five buttons, but they fit really loose. I have to try them on again. I'm holding on to them because honestly, they don't go out of style and you never know what's going to happen. So like five years, I might fit them. Ten years, six months down the road, you know, it depends on how I'm fluctuating in weight. But I found these. They're Wrangler for women and... They say size 10. The 10 that I have from H&M, because they are a size 10, fit really, really loose, which make no sense. But I'm hoping that these will fit perfectly because the shorts I have right now from Old Navy, which is like a curvy fit or whatever, I think they're curvy. Maybe they're not, maybe they're regular. I, I can't remember, but they're a size 10. But I recently got, I think, a pair of jeans that were a size 8 so it just depends like I could be an 8 I could be a 10 I could be a 12 right now I'm not fitting any of my 12 or 14s and I'm fitting 10s and I'm fitting some 8s so I mean it just depends and I think that's why I really held on to my other jeans because they are a size 10 but they're very loose fitting right now but these are a size 10 so I'm hoping they'll fit after I wash them I'll be doing the try on and that's what I got from the Rose Bowl Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already and are new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.